And next, lawyers for Hunter Biden at the Justice Department and only CNN captured their arrival. The investigation leading to this meeting about the president's son. That's ahead. First on CNN, lawyers for Hunter Biden met with Justice Department officials today. The president's son is under federal investigation for tax evasion. CNN's Paula Reid joins me now with more on this. So, Paula, what more do we know about this meeting and who was there? Well, we know this was a meeting between some of Hunter Biden's criminal defense attorneys and top Justice Department officials. Now, our colleagues Eileen Grafe and Steve Williams caught that exclusive video. There you can see one of Hunter Biden's attorneys, Chris Clark, along with some of his associates entering that building, which is the Justice Department headquarters in Washington. And on Friday, we broke the story that there would be a meeting between these two sides. And that is significant because there has not been a public development in this criminal investigation into the president's son in nearly a year. Now, I've learned that this meeting was requested by Hunter Biden's attorneys. They're seeking an update on the status of the case. The Justice Department said, sure, come on in. And they set a date. Now, we're told today in attendance were representatives from the Justice Department's tax division. And I will note uh, the tax division currently does not have a politically appointed chief. So that's a career official who's in charge of that division, as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware. And the Trump appointed U.S. Attorney in Delaware, David Weiss, he stayed on after former President Trump left office to continue overseeing this investigation. So what do you and your sources know about the current status of this criminal investigation? Well, it's interesting how little has changed since our colleague Evan Perez reported last summer the prosecutors had really narrowed down the charges to potentially uh, some tax charges and possibly one false statement charge related to the purchase of a gun and not disclosing his addiction. But then nothing happened for nearly a year. And at this point, it's unclear whether they got any disposition on the case. I was told by sources not to expect one, but we're still reporting out exactly what happened when these two sides met. And of course, at this point, the Justice Department is not commenting. All right, Paula Reid, always on top of it for us. Good to see you on set. Thank you.